New Jersey State Senator John Bramick was the first Republican to announce his running for governor. He's also a stand-up comic, but his campaign for the state house is a very serious endeavor. Try to be serious here. So, why are you running? We have one party rule in Trenton and you need balance in government because when you have one party rule, I don't care which party it is, you get extremism. And what we've gotten out of Trenton is extremism and it's really not fair because it doesn't represent the middle voter. Most people are in the middle. New Jersey politics has gone far left. But you're not the uh, average Republican that we've come to know and love in this country. You uh, don't support the former president, do you? I'm a George Bush one and two Republican. I'm a Ronald Reagan Republican. I'm a Dwight Eisenhower Republican. Yeah, but and what I, about Donald Trump? I'm not a Donald Trump Republican. Why not? Well, first of all, I think the way he treats people, I wouldn't want my kids to act like that, number one. I think to insult people uh, and his demeanor, things he said about John McCain, uh, things he denies elections where 60 federal courts say the election was legitimate. Uh, he January 6th, he didn't act. I mean, th that's not the kind of Republican I am. Republicans believe in law and order. Hitting people on January 6th over the head with a stick, uh, that's not okay with Republicans generally. But, what, but then what's his appeal and why is he winning all the primaries? Uh, he wins because there's so much dislike of the other side. He represents the frustration of people with government. So he hates the other side and therefore people go, oh, that's good, that's how I feel. So they basically ignore all the bad stuff. I'm not ignoring the bad stuff. So do you think that he can win the presidency or do you think that people will tire of the I'm an angry man act and try to think about what's best for the country? Well, I think the problem is people are concerned about Joe Biden. Uh, when you look at him, he looks fragile. Uh, regardless of Donald Trump being 77, uh, he doesn't look fragile. That's my concern. Uh, I would like to have seen two different people run, but that's not reality. So another thing that where you differ from many Republicans is your position on abortion. You, uh, I've read, support a woman's right to choose. 100%. Tell me about that. Well, it's very simple. Uh, Republicans are supposed to be about less government. Why would government get in between the woman and her doctor? Uh, that, to me, is a traditional value of the Republican Party. Now, I don't believe in late-term abortions, and sometimes I've seen the Democrats go too far. But I have always been a pro-choice Republican, and I'm clear about it. I don't like pe politicians who hedge their bets. Well, I, no, no. I think the public, if Donald Trump can be authentic, I can be authentic. Well, clearly you are being authentic, but you're also bucking the party orthodoxy with both of these positions. Does that make it difficult for you to, to uh, exist in the state house in Trenton? No. I was the Republican leader for 10 years in the House. That means every single Republican from every part of the state voted for me as their leader for 10 years. So I guess I'm Republican enough. M make it very simple. I stand for the traditional values of the Republican Party. Smaller government, lower taxes, and law and order. And that's what people want. All of this, this cultish type stuff, I ain't buying it. So let's talk about uh, congestion pricing, which is something that almost everybody in New Jersey despises. Are you one of them? How do you feel about it? And what do you think should be done? Well, when you're coming into the city and New Jersey residents have to pay more to pick up the tab for whatever the project is in New Jersey, I don't think it's fair. So pay, pay your own taxes. Don't put the burden on me. So it's the law in New York that congestion pricing is going to go into effect. Despite this uh, that Governor Murphy filed, it is the law in the state of New York. So I'm guessing that some form of congestion pricing will be happening in the next few months. So what is the proper response for the government of New Jersey to try to thwart that? What do you want to see the New Jersey government do? Well, do uh, Governor Murphy's filed a lawsuit. In, what I wanted to do, we're going to follow the law, but the bottom line is when you're taxing New Jerseyans coming across the border, we believe that's just not fair.
But I mean, can you try to get businesses from New York to come locate in New Jersey? Can you get? Can you do business taxes? Can you give tax breaks so that you can have more people move to New Jersey so Jersey residents can work in New Jersey? We, we actually are doing that, but that's related to our tax policy because New York was actually taxing people who were working for a New York business but not really coming into New York. So we actually passed legislation, now as a sponsor of that bill, actually to create more opportunity for New Yorkers to come to New Jersey. So you're actually right. But it wasn't in response necessarily to the congestion price deal. So let's talk about the gas tax. There's a proposal, I believe, by Democrats to impose a 10 percent gas tax over five years but also to charge people who drive electric vehicles, which, by the way, I am one, mm -hmm. $250 to help repair roads. Good idea, bad idea, how do you feel about it? Well, last time we did a gas tax, I was the Republican leader in the House and Chris Christie was the governor. And as a result of passing the gas tax, we got rid of the estate tax. We actually reduced the sales tax a bit. In this case, the Democratic governor and the Democrats have just decided to push this through. They're not going to get any Republican votes unless they compromise. That's one of the reasons I'm running for governor. There's no balance. There's no discussion with Republicans. And in my judgment, the public has no stomach for higher taxes. So, yes, I'll sit at the table with them. But right now, nothing's coming back to the residents except the tax. And as to the electric vehicles, they're still using the roads. They probably should pay something. So is 250 the right amount to charge so in other words you don't you're not you're not you're not for the gas tax but you're totally for charging electric vehicles a fee well i'm in charge in theory of charging uh, them a fee i'm not voting for this bill i'm just saying if a bill like that goes forward people have electric cars who use the roads they also wear out the roads they should pay no i'm i'm going to be voting no until they bring me to the table and say okay what are we going to do to lower other taxes there's got to be a compromise, and that's why I'm running. There's no balance in government. It's one party rule. But you seem to not think it's a bad idea to tax people who use electric vehicles. Correct. Why shouldn't a car that's using the same road pay something towards repairs of the road just because it may be somewhat more environmental? They shouldn't be off the hook completely. I don't, that's what I call balance. That's what I call fairness. No, they're not going to pay as much as somebody buying gas every day, but paying something, you know, have a little skin in the game. Not crazy. Well, that's not the only thing having, you know, in New Jersey now. There's also a 15 percent hike on NJ Transit. How do you feel about that? We have about a minute left. The best part about that is they've done that. But last year in the budget, they spent over a billion dollars on special projects. So if they not spend all these special projects for each legislator in order to get them to vote for the budget, you could take that billion dollars and you could give that to transit and you wouldn't have to raise the fee. But yet they are raising the fee. Well, that's because these budgets are done in such a way where they're looking at one year. Look at the past three years and look at the billions of dollars that was spent in these special projects. Just if you had saved that money, you wouldn't have to raise the fees for the people riding the trains. So you're saying in 15 seconds, don't do it. I'm not voting for it. OK, we're going to have to leave it right there for now. But our conversation continues right after the show on our streaming channel. CBS News, New York.